Hey everybody, hope you're having a beautiful day, I'm sure you are. I wanted to dive into a topic today that's very dense, very, very dense. And, you know, my background is in quantum physics, psychology, or natural psychology, I call it, where you don't go to school and memorize a bunch of problems that one criminal family started who also owns, you know, the colleges. And, you know, just some good news to start off this video before we dive into the meat. You know, the health and wellness industry is now a trillion dollar industry. 1.5, and that was a little while ago, so it's a lot further now. You know, nat the natural path industry is a multi-billion dollar industry now. In just four years, a billion people have listened to the vibration of love that flows through the plants, the animals, even the stars and the rainbows. And I want to, there's going to be four parts to this video. There's going to be the first part, which is this, the mind. I'm sure we all know our thoughts create our emotions and create our reality on a very, very basic level. And I'm gonna go a little bit deeper than that into some very practical psychology that you can apply. I, I don't have 70 hours to dive into the deep parts of the subconscious mind and all of these other complex ideas and systems that um, they use, the porn industry, just like the one criminal family that owns all of the media, or I call it dying media and dead news. And it's very important, guys, to understand this part. And the second part is going to be an aspect of self-love. And self-love is going to be more offering wisdom and more of a mindset. And the third part is going to be what is the difference between empty sex and love making? And the last part, I'm going to give some pointers, some tricks, some um, advanced techniques that you can apply to your life. And guys, the mental aspect, go watch our series on subliminal messages. And subliminal messages, and you're going to understand real quick what this has to do with pornography because everything in life starts up here, right? And I don't have enough time, but long story short, the physical world is an illusion, right? When you stare at the back of somebody's head, you don't even need to tap them. They'll turn around if you stare long enough, right? When we were, you know, when you're in a classroom, for all of you people who are still, you know, learning, you turn around sometimes and somebody's staring at you. It's creepy, right? But it happens. And when I'm driving, I can stare at the back of somebody's head and they always swerve. I can think of somebody before I go to sleep and they always... Text me the next day, no matter what. You know, during the space landing mission or the moon landing mission, they would talk to each other just through their minds. They didn't even have to phone call or, you know, text each other, right? Because they could totally text in space. A little sarcasm. Anyways, guys, and our thoughts, I'm sure we all understand, very basic, direct our vibration and our, emo our, our emotions, excuse me. And when you stop reacting, what I call it, you stop reacting and you start thinking the wheels in your head spin, then you're able to then respond to life. And we are now able to think and reprogram our subconscious mind. And real quick, for you who are not familiar, the subconscious mind generates 50,000 to 100,000 thoughts a day. That's a lot. And those are just active and arising thoughts based on what you're doing, right, with your eyes and what you're seeing. There's millions of more thoughts and uh, paradigms is the correct psychological term, or I like to use a more easier term to understand in our technological world. I don't know where my cell phone is, but anyways, I'm sure all of you guys looked, right? Now, anyways, guys, I'm sure we all understand this term, algorithms. It really is. They're just algorithms. You know, a scientist by the name of Claude, Claude Shannon, you know, he discovered computer coding in our DNA in all of life, 
You know, that light's kind of borderline, but I wanted to leave it in because I wanted to have some good lighting. There we go. And there are, there's computer coding, strings and bits of computer coding in our DNA, just like the Matrix. Because what, what I just said, the physical world is an illusion. And we can now reprogram these sub, subconscious algorithms through subliminal messages, which is repetition, right? You repeat something over and over and over again. Your subconscious mind cannot reject or accept. It just has to obey, right? It has to accept, accept excuse me. So over time, you repetition, 21 days is the correct term or the correct number. And then physical subliminals can take up to 90 days. Long story short, for all of you newbies, repetition will reprogram the subconscious mind and your subconscious mind is how you kiss, how you breathe when you kiss, how you work, how you text, which em em emojis you're gonna use when you text, everything, how you walk, how fast you walk, how high you hold your head up, how far your arms move, how you hike, how you exercise, Everything starts right here. Your eye color, your hair color. Our thoughts create the neural pathways in our brain. Right? It's a backwards world that babies are programmed into, which is why YouTube, or excuse me, this one criminal family passed a law where YouTube creators could not be paid for creating ch children's, children's content. Because I wonder why. They understand this just like the pornography industry. And it's very important to understand that we can reprogram our subconscious minds, which will shift your focus away from pornography. Our focus, this is very basic again. I'm sure we all understand. Our focus creates what? Your reality. Where your focus goes, energy flows, right? Because the physical world is an illusion. Well... How, how, say Luke, I mean, this is great, this is great, say Luke, I mean, I, I understand kind of now how the subconscious mind works, and I, I wow, I can actually reprogram my reality, that, that's kind of cool, but how, I mean, maybe I understand what you're saying about pornography, I can maybe reprogram my subconscious mind, and that'll get me out of the habit of watching porn, yes, exactly, and how do you let go of the physical world? How do you let go of this? I want you right now to touch your hand. All right, you may look goofy to your roommate or your spouse or whoever, but just touch your hand. This is not real. Imagine you shaking my hand right now. Energy is all that there is. And by that, I mean right now, I am talking in this. I am here. I am inside your, I, this is not real. It's all energy. The body, your body is a molecular structure that vibrates accordingly to your thoughts. And when you understand, I don't mean a dogmatic mask, you know, Muslim, Mormon, excuse me, Catholic, goth, punk, nerds. No, 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 no. Those are all dogmatic masks. I am talking about your true self, your inner self. This is what awakening is, right? When you truly understand and love the 400 trillion to one miracle that you are. You are a 400 trillion to one miracle. This is your divinity, divinity, 400 trillion to one. An Olympic gold, excuse me, an Olympic gold medalist said it perfectly. There are 50 5,000 people that could be doing what I do, but better, just like you, 55,000 people could be doing what he did, but better, an Olympic gold medalist. You are a 400 trillion to one miracle. You are beautiful. You are, you are beyond beautiful. Your unique talents, gifts, starting character are beyond beautiful. You are miraculous. And when you embrace your inner self, you let go of all this. <laughs> and you start to then truthfully not only love yourself, but respect yourself. Respect, right? Everything starts in our minds. And when you truthfully understand yourself, understanding is what? 
mental understanding creates the vibration or the emotion of love. And when it's true understanding, it's, it's the vibration of 528 hertz that vibrates through the trees, the plants, the animals. And this frequency they put into oil spilled water, and the very next day the oil was gone and sea life returned. The skeptics showed up and tested the parts per a million, and they were blown right, when their micrometer or micrometers and their 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 all of their all of their fancy you know they they tested that shit out to the fucking die you know the parts per a million, and that shit was clear. Th this is 528 hertz. You know, we've all heard the other study where they properly, properly transmitted 528 hertz into a bunch of, um, I believe it was beans or some, some kind of life, right? A plant or something. And it, it prospered in the vibration of love. And when you truly understand and love yourself, this is where you let go of the physical illusion, right? That's all just an illusion. There's no truth to it. There's no understanding to it. And this is a perspective I'm wanting to offer you guys and you gals to where you can really look at porn differently, right? But you can't achieve that perspective until you truly understand and love yourself from within for the divine, miraculous, 400 trillion to one unique miracle that you are. And not only that, just real quick, real quick, we have imagination, perception, willpower, the ability to focus, free willpower, memory, like I said, and co uh, reason. I like to use the word common sense, but reason. And no other creature has these. This is what allows us to be the highest form of life there is. And we have the ability to think and reprogram our subconscious mind. You could create entire planets with me. We could go to the moon in years if we wanted to. That's what we desire. But your desire and your single one voice arises when you understand and love yourself from within. And you now have courage. Courage is love. You know, all of these synonyms and values arise and correlate, right, to love. Courage, respect, appreciation, honor, which is a deep respect, in, you know, technically. And all of these words, right, a gratitude, which is appreciation, kindness, discipline, responsibility, accountability, the opposite of procrastination. You know, and like I said, I don't have time to dive deeply into this, but you get my point. And now a lot of you are starting to understand what this has to do with porn, because when you understand and love yourself truly from within, you no longer just want to waste yourself away. You now... We're going to dive into the third piece of this three-headed dragon. The third piece of this bad boy, right guys? And the third piece. This is where the first and the second part come together with the third part. This is like a triangle. And no, I'm not part of some <laughs> Illuminati. It's not even, that's not even what it's called, okay guys? There's, it's the Rockefellers who have their ties to the Neo-Nazis the Iraq Middle Eastern Wars, the Malaysian aircraft, and now most re recently, uh, coronavirus. Or I call it swine propaganda, because we decide what we put in our bodies. But unfortunately, we still have a lot of these. But we are, compared to 9-11, we've come a long way. Right, from JFK speech, oh God, we've come light years. And the pornography industry is heavily connected, and they want to drip you fucking dry. And what do I mean by dry? And I'm not, guys, I don't have, excuse me, but I get very passionate about this because I despise bullshit. I despise fake people because at the end of the day, they're screwing over you. And not only do they screw over you, it's a ripple effect. Everything in life is a ripple effect. We're all connected. You tell one untruth, just one untruth to one person. You've now screwed over them. They're going to go on to their loved ones and their co-workers, say, repeat the untruth. All of life has been fucked over now. I don't want that. I don't have to sell you to some bullshit seminar where we're going to jump up on a stage and act like your porn addiction is going to go away. I'm not going to sell you some marketing program and act like Lamborghinis and a bunch of money is going to fill your emptiness. The only way you're ever going to fill your emptiness 
is by understanding and loving yourself from within to where you're now fulfilled. You're now secure on the inside to where you want to give instead of trying to take, take all of these dead materialistic items and try filling this emptiness on the inside, but it won't work. Only love, true love, the vibration of love that flows through all the plants and the animals, right? Go figure, will fill your emptiness when you truly understand which creates the vibration of love, yourself. Now the third part is very important to understand. And like I said, I'm not going to censor this. So if the words ejaculation, orgasm, lovemaking, or sex in the sense of intention of lovemaking is too much for you, then I would exit out right now. Because I'm not going to censor this. I'm not going to get crude and start, you know, going into immense details, but you get the point. The third part, guys, which is very under important to understand, we are energy, right? The physical world is an illusion, despite them trying to pull you back into their bullshit illusion, which they use to control people just like, you know, a puppet or a mindless, you know, whatever, sheep, the rat race, whatever people call it. This part, this form of energy that formulates around your, your private parts is called and referred to as your sacral chakra. Right, go figure, right? Now, your sacral chakra is correlated to two things. And this is very, very deep and important for you to understand. Your emotions and creativity creativity and your emotion meet sacral chakra and your sacral chakra is the energy that formulates from your sperm your semen your egg your that the more and I don't have time to go into semen retention this video is I got to start wrapping up this video I know I've dropped a lot of powerful very very powerful I've just empowered you with a lot of powerful, truthful information that the same power that they use, the pornography industry uses to control you. And I just provided you the first two pieces of how you break out. And your sperm and your semen, they both, or same thing, excuse me, but eggs and the, this is female and masculine, both. The more semen you build up, right, the more you you're building up, the more who you love now, right? We were on piece number three now. The more of who you love, you are now building up. The 400 trillion to one person that you are and all of the time you spend, because once you understand and love yourself on the inside, you only want to truthfully perfect your character, perfect your talents, perfect your gifts, right? Grow and evolve into a, you know, a greater man or a better woman more and more, not out of ego or to be better than somebody, but to have more to love and more to give. And when you do this, you understand that all of this, all of my sperm and all of, you know, females too, you know, you don't, you don't just ejaculate it all away. You don't just give all of the person you love to nothing. You know, you're not nothing. You're not nothing anymore. But the issue we have is people that don't understand and love themselves from within they're willing just to give up nothing to nothing. And this may be too harsh for a lot of people, but when you speak the truth, yeah, you, you, you piss off a lot of people that are living in bullshit. In bullshit. But I don't want you guys living in bullshit. I don't want people living in bullshit. I want people to come back to the truth, which is here, inside of you. That's where the truth is. That's where awakening is. Everything starts with you first, right? And... I don't have time to dive into a semen retention video, but long story short, guys, your subconscious mind, the more you reprogram your subconscious mind, these mental algorithms, right, and paradigms, because we got thousands and thousands and thousands of them, we now are evolving and changing our DNA, or this, what we talked about earlier, Claude Shannon said, the strings and bits of computer coding or DNA in our semen, in our eggs, in our, I call it, life 
force because you and I, we are the highest forms of life that there is. I just told you we have imagination, perception, reason, memory, right? Free will or focus. And the ability to think and reprogram our subconscious mind. Beautiful, <laughs> right? This is what being a creator is. This is what, before religion became adulterated by man, what it meant when it said we are created in the creator's highest image. The issue is that man and their greed came in, adulterated, and now control the vibration of love with their religious names or religion, or they now, man now came comes in and adulterates, you know, and controls people, just like this one family likes to do. But thankfully, like I said, good news, billions of people are waking up, waking up, and before I get off track, your life force. And, you know, there's a lot of athletes that realize, you know, if they want to really excel, they don't ejaculate, right? It's common sense. And on a much more proper and deeper terminology, like I said, this is why it's called, I call it life force. It's all of who you are. I just told you, right? It's all of who you are. And you no longer just want to waste this. And the, the very important part to understand is... Uh, you, we are naturally, right? When, unfortunately, before YouTube became so big, my generation and a lot of generations going back, I believe, my 1990s, 1980s, I would say, yes. I would say maybe if you were born after 2000, a little bit later, your subconscious mind might be a little more free. But even then they still, like I said, pass law to where YouTube children creators can't even create. It's difficult to pinpoint. But anyways, we are naturally, our subconscious minds and our paradigms have unfortunately been programmed to where when you think, right, of the term masturbation or you think of the term Yes, masturbation, right? You automatically, a lot of people think of what? Ejaculation. They're not thinking of orgasm. They're just like, well, masturbation. That means the person's, you know, releasing all of their life force. Well, that's not correct. We, you need to understand, real quick, before I go into the fourth and the fifth final piece, right? The three-headed dragon, the main points that will empower you. You can make love. You can make love an orgasm two, three, four, six, ten times without ejaculating. It's beautiful, right? And love is art. Martial arts is not like some thug, you know, brawl near by beer knuckle brawl martial arts is an art and what is art how long does it take an artist to paint a drawing they got to do the sketch the lining then the outline of where the color is going to go then the for first round of coloring second round of coloring third round some artists will just go on and on and on and then you do a wax coating even because Love is not half hassed junk. Love requires practice, time invested, right? Just like you want to create, and after you love yourself, you want to create the most beautiful version of yourself to give and serve humanity with. Well, when you make love, this is not empty sex. I just told you why. When you truly understand and love yourself from on the inside, you now want to truly understand and love somebody else on the inside. And it's very powerful. I mean, empty sex, you know, it'll never fulfill you. Because that's what you're trying to do, right? Fill your emptiness. But when you understand and love yourself on the inside, you now want to give. And you will receive a true love and appreciation while you make love. That'll shake your whole fucking body. I mean, your, your soul and your the passion... The passion more. We told you how, I told you how powerful true love is. 
right? What is it, right? It, it, it vibrates through all of life, even the galaxies and the stars. It, oil spilled, ocean water was, the vibration was properly transmitted of 528 hertz, and the oil was gone. We told you about the experiment, or I told you, a billion people in just four years listened to this power. I mean, when this vibration goes out of your body, when you actually understand somebody, I mean, your whole body will shake. Their whole body will shake. I mean, you, you don't even need to really even know what you're really doing, but if you just under, know, or excuse me, understand that person, I mean, your whole body will fucking shake. And there was a boy... I don't want to go into that. That's not important. We're going to get off topic. Now, we understand the first point, the psychological aspect, right? You understand that. You understand self-love. And now you understand the difference between empty sex and lovemaking. There, Martin Luther King, right? <laughs> what does Martin Luther King have to do with porn? Martin Luther King had a very powerful quote that I'm grateful I was able to embrace earlier on in life. I will, he says, I will allow no man to have power over me, or I will hate, he says, I will hate no man because I will not allow any man to have power over me. And when you truly understand and love yourself then from on the inside, you, you just stop giving a fuck what random people or, you know, strangers have to say. You just stop giving a fuck, you know, about all of that bullshit. When you understand and love yourself on the inside, you don't take shit personal, right? If I come across somebody and they try to, you know, they start freaking out at me and some random, you know, person. I'm just like, hey, dude, I don't got time for this, right? I don't have time for this, you know. Take care of yourself, you know, whatever the fuck's wrong, you know, whatever's going on in your life. And that's it. I'm like, and I just move on and enjoy the rest of my day with the person I love and the loved ones in my life. I, if anything, you know, I sometimes laugh at them, you know. It's kind of silly how they're acting like a child. When someone cuts me off on the street, I... Same thing. I'm like, hey, I'm not going to move out of my lane, but I'm not going to take it personal, you know. Maybe they're on drugs. Maybe they're drunk. Who knows? I'm like, it's not worth my energy. It's not worth my time. You know, if I send someone a text message and they ignore me, I'm like, hey, you know, I don't give a fuck. Thank you for letting me know you're not worth my time in the future, but I don't take it personal. And this is what Martin Luther King's referring to, and he was way ahead of his time. Because what did we say? Everything is energy. The physical world is an illusion, right? Everything is energy, and it all starts with your mind that directs this energy when you understand how to think again. You know, you're not Fred the monkey, right? So, therefore, what Martin Luther King is saying, energetically, he's not going to allow some person to mentally and then energetically rape him, you know? That's, I don't know how else to put it. I'm going to be straightforward with you. If, if someone cuts you off or someone ignores your text message and you start freaking out and just going crazy and you just obsessively think about it, that person is raping, the, raping you hard. Because the physical world is an illusion. All there is is energy, right? We all vibrate, right? The body is a molecular structure. Our soul on the inside of us is who we really are. The physical world is an illusion. So that's exactly what I'm referring to. And it is ridiculous how many 30, 40 year old man children, 60 year olds we have going around and women that are being fucking raped. And they publicly let everybody know how weak and insecure they are. It, it really it is. It is almost comical. But like Martin Luther King said, you know, and I'm not saying everybody, but it's very powerful. And this is where porn comes in. This is where pornography comes in. It's a very reverse psychology. Many men don't realize you're you're allowing that woman to rape the shit out of you. <laughs> you know? And and women that watch porn, you're allowing that man to have complete power over you to where you would allow all of who you are to just be surrendered to that person. So where do you go from 
So, so what are some practic what is some practicality that you can apply to where we can get over this habit? And the, the, my, one of my most favorite one of my favorite habits or one of my favorite terms is an affirmation. And we already talked about what how this all starts in your mind, how we need to reprogram the subconscious mind, right? And one of my most favorite ones is I don't give a fuck about the physical. I don't give a fuck about the body, right? I care about who they are on the inside. Or I don't give a fuck about their physical appearance. I care about their character, their values, who they are on the inside. And this alone, this alone, if you repeat this over and over again, your focus will begin to shift to where you're no longer lost in this bullshit illusion of the physical flesh, right? That they, this one criminal family, loves to pull you towards. To where you're now just fret again, and they get to just whip you around like a puppet. You know, the, the, real quick, you know, there's, there's one very famous strategy that goes way back to the beginning of times. And that is divide and conquer. You know, that is the one... You know, this one criminal family that worked alongside the neo-Nazis and created Corona and then, you know, marketed it out with Tom Cruise and all the other Scientologist actors, you know, Ben, Aff <laughs> ben, Aff Aff ben Affleck and uh, Tom Cruise, the most dull, the most dull and awkward and kind of creepy actors. Guess where they were day one when Corona came out? Creepy ass Scientologist pricks. You know, they were right there propagating alongside the the media news that's all owned by this one family, right? Go figure. But anyways, you know, repetition, you know, when you go, if you, any of these porn websites, right, they, they understand exactly how this works. So you defeat them, right, with the same power, but through here, right, through the vibration of love, which we already talked about, is the most powerful vibration of hands down. So what, what, what you're doing, what they're doing is they, 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 every image, every word, as much as they can just spam in your mind, right? Because your focus creates your energy or directs your energy and it creates your reality. So if you start repeating through affirmations, right, you are now going to reprogram your subconscious mind and your focus is going to shift. And that, that is one very, very powerful affirmation. I don't give a fuck about the physical world or the physical appearance, I care about who they really are on the inside. And you will you will let go of the world of bullshit and you will you will become a real man, you will become a real woman and embrace the realm of truth. Because that's what truth is, right? Truth is understanding. Truth is love. Love is truth. I don't censor my videos. I'm gonna speak the cold hard truth from here. And at the end of the day, we I wanna dive into the fourth part. Okay, I want to dive into the fourth part. It's very under it's very important to understand, guys. Go watch my video on intentions, right? Go watch my video on intentions. It's very important to understand that there is no lukewarm. And when you understand and love yourself from within, you let go of the lukewarm. You have no problem being 100%. Because trust me, the universe in life does not fill or accept lukewarm. It's one or the other. You know, even before religion was adulterated by this one family, it says it perfectly, the wrath of God or the wrath of light that destroys all who attack it, try to use it, or try to control it. You know, and it's why, why, you know, unfortunately I don't have the time to get my bounty hunter license anymore, but I would love to go after it, just like life does, all those who try to destroy it. And it's very, 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 very important to understand your intention, right, behind what we understand now is love making. Nothing wrong, nothing is wrong with giving your significant other love. Nothing is wrong with giving yourself love. Nothing is wrong with making love to yourself or your significant other. The, the issue becomes, like I was talking about earlier, you have to reprogram your subconscious mind through with subliminal messages, affirmations, or repeated practice to where you can now orgasm instead of ejaculate. And it's not going to happen overnight. It takes practice. It takes experience, right? But you will get to a point where you can now orgasm 10, 15 times, 
You know, you you will shake your woman or your man's entire body 15 times, 10 times, once you understand or you reprogram your mind without having to waste yourself away to nothing, right? Without having to castrate yourself like an animal, all right? And, and it's your decision. If you want to keep watching, you know, porn and keep castrating yourself like an animal, then go ahead. That's your decision. But these are the four points. I've offered you a lot of different perspectives, a lot of valuable information. And it's very, very important, like I said, to understand it's all up here, guys. And it's not going to happen. The, the only way it's going to ever happen overnight is through the vibration of love, through the frequency of love, right? I just told you, one day they put it underwater. The oil was gone in one day. The sea, sea life was back the very next day. This is how that boy who tried to kill himself on New Year's Eve walked out of there in one day and whole life changed. You know, that boy had understood and embraced himself from within. You know, that boy, that boy went his entire teenage life jerking off to porn, you know, two or three times a day while, you know, his orthodox <laughs> religious pastors, you know, had no answer themselves that half of them were going to strip clubs themselves, you know, and never, another pointer guys, never let the enemy think you're alone, never let the, them use their psychology, you know, or their, their psychological warfare on you and let you think you're alone, you know, after talking to, you know, at least a, mil a million people in my life, you know, all around the world, from Mexico to Japan to Korea, all over the world, you know, and studying psychology, sociology, and quantum physics my entire life, you know, I, it's very safe, you know, after having at least, not just small talk, I mean, real conversations with at least a million people, if it was either from one of the 30 jobs I mastered, or whatever, it's very safe to say that at least 25% of humanity, 25% of humanity genuinely understands and loves themselves from within, right, like a real man or a real woman, whatever you want to call it. And that number is growing more and more every single year. Like I just said, in four years, a billion people have li listened to the love frequencies. So don't ever think you're alone. If you have to, guys, find a community. Find a forum. Reach out to somebody. Right? Support somebody. Don't ever, don't ever let them think you're alone, right? And like I said, 70% of people in religion express a doubt. I wonder why, <laughs> right? I wonder why. Maybe because... You're not, you're fucking suppressing you, the real you on the inside with some bullshit religious dogma mass, right? And this is the power of understanding and loving yourself from within. This is the power of understanding how your higher faculties that separate you from the animals work. How you don't have to be Fred, the mindless monkey, and you can actually start thinking for yourself. Start reprogramming your subconscious mind instead of, you know, allowing this one family to fill your mind with whatever they want to freely do. And like I said, very powerful affirmation, guys. I'm going to close this video out. I don't give a fuck about the physical flesh. I don't give a fuck about your physical appearance. I'm like, girl, I don't give a fuck about your fake boobs. <laughs> you know? If anything, it just tells me right away the, the truth. That you're fucking empty on the inside. You're insecure. You're worthless. Right? And I, I was going to go down another road, but we're not going to go there. I don't have time to start going through all the fake celebrities and fake people out there. But it's very important to get strong with this. We're not, we're not ghetto thugs. This is being strong. I don't give a fuck about your physical appearance, right? I want to understand and know who you are on the inside. If you start shifting... And repeating that affirmation, your focus will shift. Come up with your own affirmations, whatever it is, and your focus will shift. To you will get to the point where just the idea or the thought of porn, you will just be like, "Ugh, what the fuck?" You know, just the thought of you know, who whatever it was you were watching is just like, "Whoa!" You know, now now that she look, she's pretty gross. You know, now he's, ugh, I don't want to fucking, ugh, you know, that's disgusting, right? But you have to begin shifting and reprogramming your mind first. Back to the realm of truth. Like we said, that's what understanding is. It's love. Understanding is the truth. 
this this is my this is my take on all of this guys rewatch this video there's a lot of empowering information a lot of empowering knowledge knowledge is power awareness is power and this is a lot of power a lot of life changing advice and at the end of the day guys like i said you do what you want to do. I'm not trying to force you to change for I can feel better about my egotistic, you know, my ego or my religious ego. I'm not going to go charge off to the Mormon church and shove the fucking Christian Bible down their throat for I can feel better about my religious dogma mask or my religious ego. No, 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 This is me preaching from here. And if you guys want to, if you guys want to take it, if you accept the truth, you accept all of this, great. You know, you improve, all of the world improves. We grow together, we evolve together, we are all one. Wish you all the very best. This is how you stop watching porn.